What's up guys, welcome to Q&A Mondays. I'm Thad Barnett. Do metal roofs help protect buildings from wildfires? That's a question we're gonna answer today. And I've got help from Shane from Sheffield Metals and Jesse and Thane from Great Northern Metal out of Montana. Thanks guys for being here today. Thanks for having us. Thanks Thad. Thanks, you bet. So let's answer that question. Do metal roofs help protect buildings from wildfires? Talk to me about that. The common sense aspect of it is, yeah, I mean, if, if an ember lands on a steel roof, it's less likely to catch your structure on fire than it is if you have a cedar roof. Why are metal roofs better than other types of roofing that you guys typically see on residential, commercial, any type of building in structure? Everything burns, right? It's, if the fire is hot enough, everything burns, but, but different substrates have different rates at which they catch on fire. So metal roofing makes sense that it's going to be way better over an asphalt shingle, over a cedar shake, composite even, I would, I would be willing to bet. Uh, is there data? Is there testing, engineering specifications, anything like that that kind of supports those claims? Yes. You know, steel has a fire rating. It's been tested. Sheffield Metals have all the documentation on that that, that they've shared with us too. So yes, it is. It has been tested. It is fire rated, but there's, there's more that goes into a structure than just steel being fire rated. Right. There's the, there's a, a fire rated product versus a fire rated assembly, which are two completely different things. Yeah. Tell me, tell me about the difference between that. What's the difference between a product being fire rated versus the assembly being fire rated? The fire ratings are a little fuzzy to me and it seems like always open for an interpretation, but like a, an assembly being everything that's incorporated into a roof structure from the, the metal panel on top, the underlayment, the decking, the truss. For me, the confusing part is where does the assembly stop with reference to whatever testing you're getting approved? From my understanding, the class A fire roof assembly is the, in the case of metal, would be the metal panel, the underlayment, the substrate or the roof deck, those three working together and how they interact with flame spread gives you the Class A assembly. And burn through rates. Burn through rates. Whereas a fire rated product is just simply an individual product within that assembly. Yeah, so we can't just look at the metal. It, it's everything uh, involved. Why, why is that? Why can, you, why can you not just stop at the metal? Well, at some point the metal is going to burn through. Or get hot enough maybe to... Combust. combust layers underneath it. So you kind of just answer my next question, you know, does that mean metal roofs are fireproof? Um, you know, will they ever get damaged in a, in a fire? Tell me about that. There's not much that is, is fireproof with the, the fires that are raging through the country nowadays, you know, anything will get hot enough to, to be destroyed. Yeah. There's different levels of wildland fire. I mean, there's the catastrophic ones we're seeing, you know, recently, California, even in Montana last year, there was a town evacuated when a, a grass fire ripped through it. Those are catastrophic fires, and that's going to be tough to stop no matter what products you're using. But, you know, the lower level fires that aren't in the crown and they're burning on the ground, of course, those, those metal roofs are going to be way better at withstanding that type of fire and not burning the structure down. Yeah. Now, now you guys offer a unique kind of perspective to this conversation. Shane, let me kick it over to you. Tell me a little bit about your experience in this area. Well, Ted, I guess the first thing is I've been a volunteer firefighter for going on eight years now. All of eight years I've been doing wildland fire and structure. So I, I've seen firsthand the kind of catastrophic damage that uh, Dane is talking about there. And he's absolutely 100 percent correct. Uh, you can't prevent the catastrophic ones where things are, are going at 100 miles a minute. But those, those smaller ones where you have a metal roof on your home or your, your second home or your vacation home here, um, at least in the Montana area, you increase that survivability by, by a lot. Let me ask, uh, Jesse, let me ask you guys, you know, when you're, when you're selling a metal roof, um, to a homeowner or a building owner, and this this conversation gets brought up, um, you know, what do you tell them? What is something that you walk them through? You know, when they're when they're purchasing a roof. Well, a lot of times they come in. They, I mean, it's it, it's common sense too, right? They they're coming looking for a metal roof for a reason. 
So that part is a little easier. You know, you could, a lot of things, times I bring up, they could talk to their insurance companies, probably going to save them money on insurance, having a steel roof over a, a shingle or a, a cedar roof. So that's usually something to talk about. Most, I would say most of the time, you know, when, when people seek out information regarding things like this, it's not necessarily, I guess, where we are that a whole lot of people talk about fire ratings. It's more hail, wind, stuff like that. No one is going to be more queued up to understand class A fire ratings on a, on a roof of a home that they're about to build than somebody that has lived in an area where wildfires are prevalent or maybe have even lost a house in a wildfire. We don't often get the opportunity to talk to specifically homeowners <coughs> about class A fire rating stuff because it just doesn't come up. Um, However, a couple of years ago, the, the Bridger Canyon fire took out a lot of homes and, and we were a big part of helping rebuild that. You know, we did a lot of homes in that <clears throat> that were being replaced from that fire and it, it was a big conversation then. They were concerned then, right? Everybody everybody says, oh, that's not going to happen to me, but but they just don't think about it until it happens, right? So. And I think really if you're going to talk about fire ratings, class A assemblies, that real, that needs to be done at the design phase, right? That needs to be designed into the home when those those plant sets come out. Yeah, because you have to incorporate all those different elements, you know, into the building. It just doesn't start with the the steel, as as we said before. Yeah, that's the important part of the conversation, right? Yes, metal roofing is a fire rated product, but to get the the entire benefit, it, you have to look at the whole assembly. I mean, it's just getting getting you know education out there, right? Getting homeowners to think about that before they build their vacation home in Big Sky or Bridger Canyon, and talking to their engineers and their architects and and just staying ahead of it, being safe. If in the design of your home, fire from wildland fires is a big concern for a homeowner, it doesn't stop at the house, right? There's things that they can do on their property to reduce the effects if a wildfire does go through their area. So don't just think of it as the house, right? What, what can you do to mitigate it before it even hits your house? That's a huge one. Yeah, so metal roofing is just, you know, a, a piece of the puzzle. It's not a one-size-fits-all solution to wildfires. That doesn't exist. You know, it's all these different elements kind of coming together to give you the best chance to protect your home. Jesse Thane, Shane, really appreciate the information that you've shared with us today. Um, definitely learned a lot. It's always good to um, have this, this info in the back of your mind when you're, you know, putting a huge investment into your new property. I think that's super important. If you have any questions, comment down below. We'd love to answer them. Check out SheffieldMetals.com. Shane, uh, appreciate it again. Jesse Thane, where can people find you online? www.gnmcusa.com or you can find us on Facebook or Instagram. All right, thanks guys. Subscribe here to the Metal Roofing Channel. As always, I'm Thad Barnett. We'll catch you next time.